Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing a Smurf. Which one? The Papa one. With the Papa one. <laughs> All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah! All right, we hope you guys are going to draw along with us. If we go too fast, what can I do? Pause the video! Yeah, so you can pause the video. Ready to start? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start with his nose, and it's going to be right in the middle of the paper. And it goes up and down and then back around. It's kind of, um... It looks like a Smurf nose. A Smurf nose. Best way to put it. Good job, dude. Oh, crap. <laughs> crap. We're gonna have to bleep that out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That looks awesome. Good. Okay, now we're gonna draw his eyes. And let's draw let's draw the one that's closest to us first. And that's gonna come around up and then back down. Looks like an S. Yeah, kind of yeah, the whole thing looks like a fancy S, huh? Okay, good, but let's let's make that eye come down maybe just a little oh. bit further. How about like uh, right there? Okay, and then we're, I'm gonna make this bounce back out, almost like a fancy M. <laughs> good, and then it comes back into his nose right here. Now we're gonna put his pupils in there and they're gonna be ovals, two ovals next to each other. Okay, and then we're going to color those in. That one's like more... That's all right. <laughs> it looks good. Yep, and then color it in. And we got his eyes and his nose. Now let's come up here. We're going to do an eyebrow. So we're going to do a curve that matches this curve right here on his eye. And then we're going to turn it into a banana shape. <laughs> then we're going to match actually the cur curve on this side of his eye right here. It's a little off center. So, and then we're going to curve and make it a banana also. Nice. Okay, let's make his mustache and it's going to turn into his beard. So we're going to come off his nose like this, come out and right under the eyebrow curve down. Good. Now let's make his smile in there. So we're going to do a little curve right under his eyes. Ah, keep going. It's okay that it's not perfect, right? Yeah. We are having fun. We're going to do a U. Go in that direction. It's kind of slanted to the bottom left. And then we're going to do another curve inside for his tongue. Starting to look like him, huh? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll do a little cheek line. And this I'm going to extend out just a little bit further on his mouth. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw his forehead. And it's going to come down here. We can put a, a point right here next to his mustache, little space. And we're going to start over here by his nose. And we're going to curve up over to his eyebrow. Good. And then we're going to imagine it going through his eyebrow, connecting the two. Okay. And then we're going to imagine that line coming through on the other side and curving down and touching that point that we put in there. No. That's okay. Uh, yes, well, and that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. A little too far. Yeah, and that's fine. And and we're just practicing, right? Yeah. So here we go. We're going to connect now his beard to his mustache. So there's a line that's curved and diagonal connects the two. Good. Okay, now let's do his two cheek lines. So we're going to do this is actually part of his beard. So we're going to do a little curve over here and another C shape on this side. All right. Okay. Now we're going to make his beard and we're going to connect these two curves, but we're going to do it with a zigzag. So we're going to do a little zigzag here. So we'll do, we're going to come around, keep coming around until we get to the middle. So I did three little zigzags. There we go. And mine extended, let's oh. extend it a little bit further. Maybe just put one more zigzag, but bring it all the way to the middle okay. of his mouth. So right under his mouth. Good job. Okay. And then right here in the middle, we're going to do a couple, maybe three little bumps. Good. And then this one's going to be a big 
line that connects the other side. There's his beard. What okay, so you got to connect. There you go. Good job, we did it. Doesn't that look like him? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna look even more like him once we get his hat on there and his body. So let's do his ear next. And that's just gonna be another curve right here next to his cheek. I made mine a little big. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his hat. So we're gonna come out here off this line and we're gonna do a little gap in his hat. So just do a little curve that extends out past his eyebrow and creates a little banana over here. Good, okay, let's color that in. Good job. And this line looks should look like it goes all the way through. It looks like one big line. Yeah. I'm just making more smooth. I like it. You can smooth it out all you want. Okay, now we're gonna do the top little wrinkle on his hat. So we're gonna come over here just to the left of his eyebrow, come out, and then we're gonna come back into his nose. So that's gonna be the top of his hat. Or the little part where his head goes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw the top of his hat. So this is gonna be a big curve that comes out and it's gonna curve, we don't want it to go past this part of his head. So here we go, we're gonna curve up this is going to be fun, like this, and then back in. <laughs> Good job. And then we can do a little curve right there. I like making big. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> He's got a big hat. All right, we're completely done with his head. Let's work on his body. Okay. Okay, let's do his belly first. So we're going to do a big J shape right here, and we're going to be right under his mouth. Come out and then back under for that J shape. So, yes, under his mouth, good. Good. Okay, now let's draw his first arm. We're gonna draw two lines that come out over here. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little, good, a little bump right here for his first this is this part of his thumb, okay? And then we're gonna do a little crazy thumb shape. And then another bump. And this is for this line inside of his hand. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's draw, let's draw this finger over here. So we're gonna come out, curve around, and then back in. And we don't wanna connect to his thumb, leave a little space there. And then we're gonna draw a little line there. Good, now we're gonna draw his middle finger. And then we're gonna draw the rest of his hand up here. So we're gonna come up where his thumb is, come out and then back in. Okay, one more little line, little detail on his hand. And that's this line right here. Good, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw his other arm and we're gonna do a lot of the same steps, but a little bit different. So we're gonna draw the first arm, the first line of his arm. Good, and then we're draw, we wanna come down at the same space. So we're gonna imagine a line coming out over here. And then draw it and it's kind of parallel. Good. Let's make those a little yeah. bit longer. Just a little bit, not too long. There we go. And then this should match roughly about the same same length on both sides. Okay, now let's do that first little bump for the same part that we drew over here. And then it's thumb shape. Nice. And then there's a little bump inside his hand. Good. And then we're going to do, we're going to draw a little bit different on this side. So we're going to start over here, do the same thing, out, back in. His finger is going to be, his little pinky is kind of pointing a different direction. Good. And then we'll draw that same line. And this is that line right here in your hand. Yeah. When you, when you crumple your hand up, it creates a little line right there that separates your fingers from the rest of your hand. 
Okay, and then let's draw this middle finger. And they only have three fingers, don't they? Uh, well, four. Four, including the thumb. <laughs> okay, and then the last finger. We'll go in to his thumb. Oh. Good. All the way. Yeah, you could just connect it right there. Good. Yeah, that works. And then we'll put that last little detail or last little wrinkle in his hand. We did it. Okay, we got his arms and his hands. Now let's finish the rest of his body. So we're going to come over here and we're going to draw his back. So we're going to come up here under his armpit and draw kind of a S line. See how it comes in and then back out. Okay, before we draw any more, we need to put pants on him so he's yeah. not naked. <laughs> All right, so we'll come up here and we're going to draw a curved line. This is a contour line. And the reason why we call it that is because it shows this shape of his body. See how it looks more 3D? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to draw his legs next. So we're going to come back over here and we'll draw a line that matches this one. Good. Okay, now let's draw his foot. Are you? Do you have enough room? Kind of. Looks, looks like you do. We're gonna draw a big foot that's gonna come out, and I'm gonna go. Foot. I'm gonna go off the page, and I'm gonna come back over here. So I'm gonna imagine it back, like that. We could extend our paper if we wanted to, but let's just keep going. And now we're gonna draw his other leg. So we're gonna come over here and draw two lines that curve out, kind of look like a noodle. <laughs> Macaroni lines. <laughs> Good. Now that let's one's kind of thin. thin. It is a little thin. So let's just draw another line right next to it. This one. And we'll just imagine that one's not there. It's all right. When we're drawing with markers, it's okay because we don't, we can't erase. Yeah. But we're doing that on purpose. But our friends can use pencils if they want to erase and then use markers after. Yeah. Once they get the line just where they want it. Okay, now let's draw his foot. And so it's going to come out. We're gonna do a big loop around. Oh, get a little wobbly. And then back in. <laughs> That's awesome. You know what? Let's go ahead and extend the paper and then we can finish it down yeah, here. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got our paper extended and all we did was get some extra paper and then tape it to the back. Yep. And then we can come down here and we can finish that foot that went off the paper. And that's an easy way if we end up going off the paper or you can just leave it either way. These are the colors we're gonna use, red, pink, and blue. And you gotta make sure you have the right blue, right? Yeah. All right, so let's fast forward and then our art friends can pause it at the end. Ready? Yeah. Right, right now. now. You know what we forgot? Now, it could be hidden behind him, but I think we need to put it on there. They have little toes, don't they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now he looks like a Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, we did it. That was a lot of blue and a lot of red. Give me five. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Papa Smurf with us. It's kind of hard to say that. Papa, Papa Smurf? Papa Smurf with us. Smurf with us. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Smurf Goodbye. Smurf.